my secret. My secret is that. My secret is uh, my secret is. So I got a secret. The housemates up for eviction are Shane, Layla, Estelle. One of you will be evicted from the Big Brother house. I'm okay, but I don't. I don't really want to leave just yet. I really don't want to go home yet. I don't want to go. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm ready to go. Live from Dreamwild on the Gold Coast, here's your host, Sonia Kruger. to Big Brother Eviction Night Live. What a night we've got for you tonight. Couldn't get any bigger. The girls' secrets will be revealed. Have you matched them up yet? If that wasn't enough, it's eviction time. Yes, it's eviction time. Who have you saved? and who's going to get kicked to the curb. Three girls are nominated, two will be saved, and one goes into the history books as the first person to leave the Big Brother house in 2012. Will it be retro glamour girl, Sharnay? What about the headstrong romantic Estelle? Or the bubbly Brit, Layla? Oh, well, the fate of the housemates is in your hands. Voting to save your favourite is the only way to ensure that they will stay in the Big Brother house. Let's see how Australia's been voting so far. Here's the tally board. All right. Now, the lowest percentage is the person going home tonight. They have the least amount of votes to save them, but it's very close, as you can see. So close. And your votes in the next 10 minutes will decide the outcome of the eviction. So Facebook voting has now closed, but don't let your favourite housemate be evicted. You can still save them by picking up your phone. OK, now to save Sharnae, call 1902 9504. To save Estelle, call 1902 Double five nine five oh five to save Layla, call one nine oh two double five nine five oh eight. All right, or you can just text their name to one double nine double five triple nine. Voting closes at six forty three PM Australian Eastern Standard Time. Did you all vote? Oh, good, good now. It was a big week in the house and things hotted up in more ways than one. Week two in the Big Brother house. Worst road trip ever. What does it There's no better way to bond than a road trip across the country. That's it. Hop. Hoppity hoppity. <laughs> After the first nominations, cracks started to appear. If that was you, treat you like that? No way. This is how I need to deal with it. <laughs> is love blossoming between Estelle and Ryan? It's getting stronger day by day. You know, she looked at me tonight and I could sense um, the connection. I really, I really like her big brother. It's pretty disappointing that there's a possibility that she might be leaving. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. When Surly opened his mouth... I'm going to let you in on a little secret about this house. Michael listened. 
This is the coolest thing in the history of the world. You're my boy, Sally. And the housemates competed for the title of Top Clown. <laughs> or not! <laughs> What do we have here? Oh my god, he's an actual cop. I don't think the boys would like this. Ah, oh dear. Benjamin, you know Benjamin? He's picked up a bit of a following online. They're calling themselves fans of Benjamin. They're calling themselves Benjamites or Fangermans. All right, so you can decide what you like. Let's find out the latest news from the house now. Remember, Ryan turned 22 last week, and he was wondering why there was no celebration. But on the weekend, Big Brother did throw Ryan a party, and Ryan was thrilled because the theme was Ryan. What is this? <gasps> Big Brother would like you to look your very best. On your birthday, there is a suit on the rack beside you. Yes. You may now put it on. Thank you, Big Brother. The theme of Ryan's party is glamour. The girls must dress as Hollywood starlets, and the boys are the paparazzi. And Ryan just has to come as himself. Shut up, he's gonna love it. Hey. Funny, hey. Oh, that is just, that's exactly what he would love. And Ryan, don't forget to strut. Strut? Okay. Ryan, Ryan, are, are the rumours true about you and Estelle? Are they true? Are they true? <laughs> Can you get all get together? Yeah, it's okay. Housemates have noticed that Layla has been paying a lot of attention to George. Oh, I think tonight's going to be a good night. Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah. Zoe also likes George, but she's resigned to being a spectator tonight. What do you mean? I said, if you're as cute as she is, and it's all like Donkey Kong, and he gave me a big smile, and he's like, yes. What are you whispering about? Why am I not involved? Oh, um, love it. Oh, so it's about me? No. The after-dinner entertainment is a showing of some of Ryan's finest work. Oh. Oh. I thought it was pretty hot. That photo. <laughs> Were you eating carbs then, Ryan? I see a little bit of a crease up the, up the old... <laughs> Just saying, babes. Just saying. Could be a bit skinnier, babes. So I was like, hey. Oh. Could you, you slump down that wall and just give us that look again? If you could. That, that photo there is my mum's favourite. That's, that's one of the looks off um, Zoolander. Oh, can you give us that surprise look? Like, look in the mirror, and I want you to pop back, but I want you to pretend like you haven't seen us in a while. Ready? Go. <laughs> look at how he made eye contact with all of us. Like, yeah. looks like, he looked right in my soul. <laughs> the post-party bathroom gossip is all about Layla and George. I can't believe you was talking about me at dinner. Oh, we weren't talking. She was just saying what George had said. Was that what happened? Nah. Why do I never get to know? I'm a woman now. You know everything. What's that? Yeah. George made a comment about possibly being interested in someone. What? And someone's a little bit giddy about that something. That's exciting. Go spoon Layla George. You're a big spoon. Stop being a jerk. Go into the George's bed. 
There's a spot there. You've got a big, you've got a big bed over there. Oh my god. to save your favourites by the time we come back. The lines will be closed and coming up next, the boys begin the challenge of correctly matching each girl with the secret they hide and next week they'll be hoping that they don't need to make videos like this. Alright, so I'm not ready to go home yet. Believe me, I'll keep it exciting in here. I'll keep it real and I'll keep questioning everyone to see where they're really at. Please, I hope everybody votes for me at home. There's so much more that you need to know about me, and I promise I'll make you love. Please save me. I promise I won't let you down. I've got so much more to show in this house, and being a perfectionist, you can definitely count on that. night live voting lines have now closed so we'll know who australia has saved and who will be evicted very soon but first let's have another look at what's been happening in the house it's the aftermath of ryan's party and the talk is all about layla and george layla is worried that last night's kiss with george might backfire this could have been a really bad move for me for me why because i'm up for vix do you think it was a one-off, or do you reckon it'll happen again? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe again. Maybe again. Do you think it's bad that I find those, that, that Layla and Angie sometimes annoy me a little bit? No, they drive me insane. When Zoe first met George, she had the biggest crush on him, didn't she? Yeah. Huge. And now she doesn't? Yeah, because Layla walked in. She was like, yeah, no. Did, was Layla aware of that? Yes. Did she care about that? No. I kind of feel like they're the witches of Eastwick that are like trying to catch on to these boys for any way, any way they can. At dinner, Bradley brings up the delicate topic of alliances in the house. Yeah, I'm mean, fine with Josh. Because, like you, like you know, the, you know, he's a part of the Dad. original crew. Who? Josh. What? What? We have a slight riff with with the people that came in late. We just don't really like them as much as the others. I can take. Best commitment to a joke. <laughs> what just happened? I went Brenda. <laughs> yes. uh, that wasn't a joke by then. That was just Ben being. Sh off. Not speaking to me. Oh no, I just wasn't sure if you were speaking to me. It's all right. Yeah, this is like it. I think. To be honest, like I've watched in lots of situations at the moment where you're being rude to people and it's really bothering me. Okay. And like I, I sincerely apologise for throwing a glass of water in your face because I didn't do it to be funny, Bradley. I did it because I was upset. Uh. And it's like, I honestly believe in lots of ways the other housemates are pro provoking you to be different to the way you truly are. I do. I think that they're, you, you now think it's funny to be rude to people and it's not funny. Like, because when I first met you, you were not like this. I just hope that you stop being so... I don't know. Unaware of other people's feelings. Like, I just watch you doing it all the time to people, and I'm like, why are you being so unaware? Did you not think I would be upset when you said that at the table? It was a joke. Yeah, I know it's a joke, but the, how am I get? How it's not my job to be able to teach you this, but how are you supposed to work out what the difference between a joke is with someone, and what's actually hurting someone's feelings? Like, how can how how are you supposed to work that out if you can't work out what's a joke and what's not? That seems really weird to me. I'll yeah. take that on board. Yeah. Right. 
sure what the Benjamites are going to make of that, but from within the man cave and face to face, the boys spent all week trying to figure out the girls' secrets. They're like card sharks in a high stakes game. They looked for their opponents' weaknesses. So let's see if the girls managed to keep their poker faces intact. I have obsessive compulsive disorder. Sean A is in the right spot. Uh, I was champion weightlifter. Did you do weights at school? Is either going to be between Zoe and Layla. Oh. <laughs> Would you have a nude protest? Nude protest? Yeah. Sarah would never do a nude protest. Yeah, all right. I didn't know that. Sarah's spelling on the whiteboard was atrocious. I say Sarah's 100% the high school dropout. They think they've got mine, but mine could be anybody. Stacey's the hand model because she's got really nice hands. Yeah. Kid from way back. Were you in were you an emo at school? No. Angie is 100 percent a member of the royal family. Yeah. You know, it's a uh, posh name, you know. Grace yeah, well I think stuff. it's also influenced by the fact that I did grow up in England. I met Monaco. the Princess of Monaco. I had lunch with her in um, Europe this time last year. I haven't got a coat. Yeah, she's pretty hot. She she could pass as a princess. Conquering our secrets yet, or what? Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Have the boys figured out it out? Do you think they know the secrets? I'm not sure. All right, now Big Brother did put some very specific rules in place when he set the secrets challenge, but some of the boys believe rules are made to be broken. Ryan. Big Brother. In the captain's quarters, Big Brother clearly heard you ask Estelle if she had ever been a nude protester. Would you have a nude protest? Nude protest? Yeah. No. I think I needed to. It's like emo comes from emotion, emotion but it, everything's moved away into a market. Were you, in, were you in emo at school? No! Mm, a clear breach there. I wonder how Big Brother will punish them. Now, after seeing the girls fail the Secrets Challenge last week, the boys need to make more than a perfunctory effort if they want to win. It's time to find out if the boys are clued up or clueless. This is Big Brother. Male housemates, last week the females were unsuccessful in matching your secrets. As a result, either Shane, Estelle or Layla are already into their final hour in the Big Brother house. Males, now it's your turn. One at a time, Big Brother will ask you to stand and state which female you believe matches each secret. Big Brother has allocated you four lives, the same number the females had. However, when Big Brother set you this challenge, there were some clear rules that you were told to follow. One of these rules was that you were not allowed to mention any of the secrets directly when questioning the girls. Ryan, when you were with Estelle in the captain's quarters, you asked her, would you ever do a nude protest? <laughs> George, last night you were in the kitchen with Sharnae. You asked her, were you an emo at school? <laughs> Gentlemen, the females played by the rules. You have broken them twice. Because of this, Big Brother is taking away your first life. <laughs> Male housemates, oh, no. your challenge starts now. <laughs> you have three lives remaining. If you match the secrets without losing all of your lives, you will be safe from nomination again. If you lose all of your lives, you won't. <laughs> 
George, stand up. You have had a week to discuss secrets with your fellow males. The first secret is I have obsessive compulsive disorder. George. Which female housemate has OCD? Shane. Shane, take one step forward. Do you have obsessive compulsive disorder? Yes. George, congratulations. Shane, move to the bench. Your secret is out. Sorry, oh, God. Ray. Yep. Stand up. Yep, OK. Got it. You have three lives remaining. Got it. The next secret is, I was a hand model. Yep. Ray. Which female housemate has superstar hands? Racy Stacy. Stacy. Uh, yes? Big brother? Were you a hand model? Bingo. Yeah! Ray, congratulations. Oh. Stacy, move to the bench. Oh. Your secret oh. is out. Oh. 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 Well done. The boys have three lives remaining, but five secrets still to guess. A nude protester, a high school dropout, and an emo walk into a bar. Sounds like the beginning of a joke, doesn't it? It's not. They are actually in the house. The boys have to guess these three secrets and they are set to be revealed when Big Brother returns. But first, Stacey tells us what it's like when life deals you a perfect hand and Shane comes clean about her OCD. My secret is that I have OCD, which is obsessive compulsive disorder. I suppose in a way it can be hereditary. My mum is very particular. I have a tendency to have to have things done in a particular way. It's one of those things that's very, very hard to hide. When I'm at home, it's about checking locks on doors, checking locks on cars. When things are messy, it's absolute chaos within these walls. And it's been very, very hard to keep it under wraps. My secret is that I'm a hair model. People don't think that you are, so you can hide it. And I don't even use hand cream. I was just born with fabulous hands, I think. I was in an ad holding a, a mobile phone. You just literally have to grasp it and go, wow, that looks good. And it's all about the angle. Eviction Night Live. The girls in the house seem like a well-behaved and well-educated bunch. Now, despite this, one of them hides a history of nude protesting and another is a high school dropout. Do the boys know who they are? Benjamin, stand up. You have three lives remaining. The next secret is, I am a high school dropout. Benjamin, which female housemate dropped out of high school? Sarah. Sarah, step forward. Sarah, were you a high school dropout? Nope. Sorry, boys. Benjamin, you are incorrect and have lost a life for your team. You have two lives remaining. The secret is, I am a high school dropout. Who is your second guess? Estelle. Estelle, step forward. Were you a high school dropout? Yes. Yeah! Benjamin, congratulations. Good boy. Estelle, move to the bench. Good boy. Your secret is out. Wow. What it is, what it do. Michael, stand up. You have two lives remaining. The next secret is, I am a nude protester. Michael, 
Which female housemate has protested in the bath? <laughs> um, Sarah, big brother? Sarah, step forward. Sarah, have you taken part in a nude protest? Yes. Michael, congratulations. Sarah, your secret is out. I know. Transformations all round. So Estelle has discovered a love of education and Sarah's discovered clothes. <laughs> this is what the girls had to say about their hidden histories. So I got a secret. Yeah, I got something to hide. Well, guess what? I'm a high school dropout. Yeah, I did lie. I didn't take my exam because I was off skateboarding most of the time. My attendance rate was so low. At that time in my life, uh, school wasn't the most important thing to me. I don't regret the decision for me, but for, I think for most kids, they need to stay in school. So they have the op at least the option of when they've completed high school, if they want to go to university or they want to get themselves a good job, that they can walk straight in without having to work even harder. My secret is that I have protested in the news. I am very passionate about animals and the voices that they don't have. And there was a few different things we did and one of them entailed I'd rather be naked than wear fur. So I sat at the park in Sydney for a couple of hours. A lot of it made worldwide news. It was an amazing feeling to be able to take a stand on something that I do feel so passionate about. What we did was fantastic and had a huge impact. Black t-shirts, dark eyeliner, depressing music and boring poetry are all hallmarks of the emo subculture. Does it sound like any of the housemates to you? Ryan, stand up. You have two lives remaining. The next secret is, I used to be an emo. Ryan, which female housemate used to be an emo? Layla. Layla, were you an emo? No. Ryan, you are incorrect and have lost a life for your team. You have one life remaining. You no. It's all over. Layla, step back into line. Oh. <laughs> Ryan, the secret is I used to be an emo. Who is your second guess? Zoe. Zoe. Oh, you an emo? Sure was. I knew. Congratulations, Zoe. Your secret is out. The boys are hanging in there by the skin of their teeth. Zoe, the emo, explain yourself. My secret is that I used to be an emo. An emo is an emotionally unstable person. I was into the emo bands, skin tight jeans with the black t-shirt. It was over the summer holidays after year 11 that I realized there were more important things in life than feeling sorry for myself, pick myself up, spend time with my family, and um, just got over it and moved on. All right, so the gentlemen have one life remaining with two secrets yet to be revealed. So will luck be a lady tonight? After the break, we turn it up to 11 as the first evictee of 2012 will be announced live. The winner of Big Brother will receive $250,000 cash and a top of the range Holden Cruise SRIV, the only small car built in Australia. Welcome back to Big Brother Eviction Night Live. Now, one of our nominated girls is about to be frog-marched out of the house forever. And that sounds harsh because it kind of is. But first, it's the moment of truth for the boys. So let's go live to the house where the two final secrets are all that stand between the boys and potential nomination. This is Big Brother. Josh and Bradley, stand up. You now know 
that Angie is either a champion weightlifter or a member of a royal family, and Layla is either a champion weightlifter or a member of a royal family. You have one life remaining. That means that if you correctly match this next secret, then it is impossible for any of the males to be the next person evicted from the Big Brother house. <laughs> if you incorrectly match this next secret, it will be certain that one of the males will be the next to leave. Bradley, Big Brother will allow you to do the honours. Who is a member of a royal family? Angie. Angie. Are you a member of a royal family? No. Bradley, you were incorrect and have lost the final life for your team. Layla, what is your secret? A descendant of royalty. What? <laughs> Angie, what is your secret? I used to be a champion weightlifter. <laughs> Male housemates, you have failed your challenge. Female housemates, congratulations. You have protected your secrets well. None of you can be nominated tomorrow. <laughs> Listen carefully. Female housemates, none of you can be nominated tomorrow, but one of you is about to go now. Housemates to the lounge immediately. The girls have done it. Tomorrow night, only the boys can be nominated. Now, the girls can breathe a sigh of relief for a second. Now the weight has been lifted, we can hear from Angie herself, then prepare to curtsy before Her Royal Highness Princess Layla. I used to be a champion weightlifter. I was a Queensland representative and an Australian finalist in competitive weightlifting. Because I was so small and lifting well over my body weight above my head, it meant that I was able to excel in my field. It got to a point where if I wanted to um, continue competitively, I would have had to give up school and I really wanted to finish school and, and go to uni and whatnot. So unfortunately, I had to give it up. My secret is that I'm a descendant of royalty. I'm a descendant of Jan Sobieski, the King of Poland. I'm not going to be like a queen or anything because it's like great, 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 great. It's like six greats or something. So a lot of people would have to die for me to be queen. But I do think I'm a princess. <laughs> hey, all right, the pressure might be off for some of the girls, but for three of them, it's only just getting started. The housemates want to know who will be leaving tonight, and I'm about to tell them. They took that point of this one. <laughs> Lovely, and I have some good news. The boys are not The housemate who received the most votes wow. to save them is. Good news. Oh. 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 It's a good news to, to, to save. What? To save. I find it much. Let me clarify, housemates. The housemate who received the most votes to save them and who will be staying oh. in the Big Brother house oh. <laughs> is... Wait, wait, is... Oh, my heart. All right. Layla! Now, housemates, oh my God, I, I also have some bad news. Shane and Estelle 
One of you is about to be evicted. That's me. It's time to go. It's time to go, Shane. Shanae, you have been evicted. It is time to leave the Big Brother house. You have ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. is our gain and Shane will be joining us live on stage right after this. Welcome back to Big Brother Eviction Night Live. Please welcome our first evictee, Shane. feeling actually um it's so such an exhilarating feeling I mean you've know, had ups and downs and everything so wow <laughs> I'm sure you want to know how the voting went yeah. in the end how close it was so yeah. let's have a little look oh sure it was very close oh, God. here it is That's here good. it is okay so you can see there was only three percent of Whoa. votes there between wow. you and the next person whoever yeah. that was so yeah. Are you surprised? Are you surprised to be out there? It was between you and Estelle, very close. I know. Um, I'm not... I am a little, but I'm not, for the fact that I actually said to uh, a couple of people that knew about this that I'd either be the first or the last. And, well, look, I'm number one! <laughs> do you think the other housemates expected you to be evicted? Yes. You do? Yes. Okay, all right. So who's going to clean up after them now? I have no idea, but good luck to them. Do you think they'll cope? <laughs> Sorry, do you think they'll cope without you? Um, I think they will cope to some extent. Um, to others may not. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. All right. Well, two weeks without any contact with the outside world, was it liberating or was it hard? Um, for me, it was extremely hard. Um, not having my comfort things around me definitely was very hard. Um, and certain ways that I am, especially with the OCD and whatnot, is extraordinarily hard. Yeah, well, exactly. You were diagnosed with OCD. And let's have a look at, at, some, at some of the cleaning that you've done in the house. Oh, God. 
kitchen. Chinese never out here. She's always in the kitchen. We've chained her to the kitchen. Has anybody seen a dustpan and brush? Were they in the washing machine? Yeah. And their outside smells like a toilet. Toilet. Did you just wash the board with the what, the cloth? Where are the hand towels from in here? They're going to put coriander on. Yeah, but that's for the benches. I just feel uncomfortable because she won't speak clean. Mm. I'm like, this isn't the real world. Mm. Like that kitchen is never going to be the way that it was when we walked in here. I'm just the, the <laughs> aging old housewife. Even as a child, when mum drummed into me, you use it, you put it away. <laughs> <laughs> With your condition and 13 messy people. Oh, extraordinarily. Um, I, and I mean, of course, you know, I let myself go every now and then, but, you know, when there's 13 other people who are exactly, who are just leaving bits and bobs everywhere, it's quite frustrating. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and were you surprised that the boys guessed that you have oh, OCD? Not at all. It's just like with Michael having the IQ of a genius. It's something you, it's very hard to hide. Very hard, so. So do you think the experience of dealing with 13 other people in the house helped or hindered? Um, I would hope to think that it's helped, Thanks. very much so. Um, it's probably let me be a little bit uh, more relaxed and I'll be a little bit more relaxed on certain things. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, <laughs> exactly. Now, it took you a little bit of time to warm up to, yeah. to some of the housemates. Let's have a look, Shane. Oh, <laughs> it's like being back at school and they're the popular kids. <laughs> I'm not meant to get it, really, am I? Maybe they feel threatened by me. I don't know. Considerations just going straight out the window. I think she sees one of those girls that she just really likes. Her. She's really nice, but she's, um, she's a bit of an odd. <laughs> so being with somebody next to me is a little hard, and I'm trying to just go with it. Yes, yeah, Sinead. I don't know how she can handle us. No, no. Yeah, well, I got her. And in Jasmine, you know what? I'm an oddball and I don't care. So, and we love the fact that you're an oddball, Shane. <laughs> what, was, what was the hardest part about living with all these other people in the house? Um, obviously, the different personalities. I found that uh, people were trying to overcome everybody else. Like, it was just such a fight for so many different things. And it was like, okay, well, you know, I'm going to take a step back on this. And, you know, I have a wonderful company that I work for, and I work with some wonderful people. And, you know, it's just, it's such an amazing thing. And I don't need to be like, woo! me all the time because yeah and do you think that's because there, there is an age difference or is it more your background that you know that made it challenging relating to the other housemates um, probably you know I've like the most of them except for a couple were obviously about five or so years younger than me and I mean I've been there so I mean sometimes I know the look at my face was kind of like oh really guys really but it was the the age difference very much so. and did we get to see the real Shane? I would say yes Yes. Very much so, yeah. And, and who were you close to in the house, Shane? Probably Sarah. We're born in the same year and everything, so it was kind of made it easier. And Benjamin, because, well, yeah, he's Benjamin, isn't he? <laughs> Are you going to miss them? Yes, definitely. Will they miss you? I don't know. I would hope so. They'll miss you. <laughs> They'll all miss you. Now, still to come, the top three moments that you voted for, not you, Shane, but the people oh, right. out like, there <laughs> voted for. So we take a look back at Shane's time in the house. Oh, God. This is scary. <laughs> to Big Brother Live Eviction Night. Now, Shane, you've had a moment to settle. How's your yes. heart going? Is it still racing? Um, no, we're okay at the moment. I think we're back to normality of somewhat. <laughs> Excellent. Well, each week we ask you to go online and vote for your top three moments from our nominated housemates' time in the house. The public have voted. Sure. And here are Shane's KFC top three so good moments. Benjamin. Are uh, you a millionaire? No. <laughs> Shania, I just want to say thank you for doing the washing. I feel bad that I've done it. Oh, sorry. I'll, I'll not hug you ever again. You know what I love? Say hug me. You hug me! I love that. All right, now, 
remember, pop on to bigbrother.com.au and vote for our new nominees. So good moments. They will be up on Wednesday. So, Shane, was it everything that you thought it would be and hoped it would be? Um, I, I, you can't explain an experience like this. Like, it's just something entirely different. Um, what I had in my head was something different to what actually happened. Um, for me, it broke down a lot of walls and it broke down a lot of barriers, which I'm so thankful for. Like, that two weeks did so much for me, so... Did you, what did you miss from the outside world? Your phone, your friends, your family? Uh, I could quite survive without my phone. I did miss my mum immensely. Mm -hmm. um, I missed my friends, my close friends. I missed doing the things that I do, like performing every night. Like, there's nothing like hitting that stage and being on stage. I miss performing, I missed singing, I missed dancing. It was so hard not to sing. Yeah, in the house, it would be. Oh, it was, you can belt something out now if you like. <laughs> All right. We'll save that for the after party. Yeah. You'll do that in the after party because I can't sing commercial music, unfortunately. Okay, all right. Well, it was brief, but it was fabulous. Oh, so oh, it was. It, it was, was fabulous. fabulous. So, Shane, <laughs> here is a celebration of your time in the house. Yeah! I don't have too much anxiety over this. Oh. I didn't see it. <laughs> it's been quite good. I'm enjoying it, actually. <laughs> Who wants to learn how to play this thing? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I don't do household stuff. So what are you saying that I do? Well, you seem to. I will do the other twilight. One of the most significant things that have happened to me is having my father pass away when I was quite young. Being an only child, it's really hard to deal with. I'm going to go Sharnay. 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 I knew it. It's like being back at school and they're the popular kids. I'm wearing yellow for Christ's sake. Please don't hurt me. Oh, sorry. A five. A five. Good. <laughs> Good. One, two, three. Oh. I think, I feel that, um, for me, I think the two weeks is probably just enough before I start hurting someone or myself. Oh, no, not at all. Did, did you enjoy yourself? That's the big question. No, I did, I did. It was just hard to get used to not having anything to do or doing anything. Like, that is the hardest, and especially with the OCD and whatnot, because I'm such an extraordinarily busy person, it's just so incredibly hard, but... Yeah, well, you worked hard whilst we were watching. That's just... <laughs> Now, before we say goodbye, Shane, who is going to win? Oh, I had this question this afternoon. Whoa! <laughs> um, I think it's still too early to actually put a name on it just yet. Um, there are obviously people that I would like to see win, but it's, uh, it's not... Let me rephrase the question. <laughs> who would you like to see win? I would love to see Benjamin win. I really would. Benjamin or Sarah, just because I feel that they deserve it. They put so much into so many other people and they don't expect anything in return for it. So I think they deserve it. So you are officially a Benjamite or a Fangerman? I'll explain that to you. <laughs> you have been an amazing housemate. We've just lost our first housemate for 2012. Give Shane a big round of applause. Be watching live nominations tomorrow to find out which one of the boys will face eviction next Sunday. Thank you so much, Shana. You have been amazing. I'm Sonia Kruger. See you tomorrow night. Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.